Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about discovery classification process. Discovery classification can be broken down into three types. Device classification, process classification, IP classification. Device classification is the actual classification that me and you know that happens in the classification phase of the discovery. So this is the actual classification of the device, such as computer running on Windows or a computer running on Linux or Unix, maybe router, a switch, a load balancer, so on. Remember, computers and servers are classified based on the operating system that they are running on. Next is process classification. This is what this video will be talking about. Process classification is the classification of applications based on a process that they are running. Discovery classifies processes during the first phase, sorry, not during the last phase of the discovery, that is during the exploration phase application gets classified. Just like the device classification, process classification has its own classification criteria. So let's move into creating a process classification and then we will talk about these criteria. Actually the parameters. We have also seen these parameters and its importance when we talked about process handlers in my other video, which you can go to my channel and you can search and look for. So that is also a very informative and prerequisite of watching this video that you should know about process handlers. So let's go and create a process classification so let's type classification so under class ci classification you will see processes click on processes here is your process classifications Click on new. Name it iTunes. Table application table. Relationship type. Now this is important. So we have to establish a relationship. So that in the dependency map view. When we will open this. It will show a relationship with the devices based on the relationship that we will add right now. So let's add runs on runs. Now here we have to give the conditions. Now this is the condition, the criteria that I was talking about. So based on this classification, the application is going to be classified. This needs to be the unique value. So, our condition is name contains items and parameters. does not contain helper. So this is the condition that I am adding. You may be given a set of conditions for your applications according to which your organization need that application to be classified. So accordingly you will add that condition here. Here we make sure that we add unique values 
and this will be to classify your application. So now let's save it. Done with everything here. Perfect. Now let's execute a new discovery. So let's go to discovery schedule new discovery application Not server And discover now. Have you noticed there is a link called show discovery timeline? If you click there, you can see the output Sizam probe, input Sizam probe being classified. So here you will get the whole list. Here you can see device is already classified now we are in identification phase so after classification classification is responsible to launch which pattern probe needs to be launched so here after classification horizontal discovery probe is launched It is completed. And we have one device here. So now, after the discovery is completed, let's see if iTunes is discovered. Let's go to applications. Configuration. Under configuration, you have applications. Click on that. Let's search for iTunes. Here it is. So this particular application has been discovered based on the process classification that we have classified. And we can see this runs on Windows Server. Dependency view. And now here in the dependency view, you can see that our application has been discovered 
and this is showing the runs on runs relationship this relationship we have classified when we were creating a process classifier for the itunes so this is where the relationship is shown and this runs on windows server so i hope it was easy to follow that i clicked on this particular icon to go for dependency view map okay so now uh, let's navigate to servers So under configuration, server, windows. So if you remember, our application is running on Windows Server. So we are going to this. And let's try to locate IP that we created. okay uh, we have to look for ip and then this particular ip address so let's go and search again we are just trying to see that in the windows server this is showing in the application table this relationship is showing just from the from both the records we are cross verifying the same detail that under application this is showing the relationship that it has a relationship with windows server it runs on this and the same we will do here under server windows we will just go and search for this and we have got the record and let's see if this shows the relationship with itune application and here it is so this is this was just a cross verification again you can click on so dependency view and it will do the same thing once again that we have seen it is showing something related more to the windows server of course because we have come to the dependency view through this record but yes you can see that this particular application that we have just discovered it runs on windows server this is also showing here so this is all about this video i hope i was being able to give you more clarification more detail on how process classification works and how you cross verify if your particular application is discovered and it is showing the relationship that it was supposed to show so thank you so much and we will see you in the next video